so good evening and i welcome you what we were talking students very important thing we have done what we were doing student redox reactions theek hai okay sir and we told you how to balance the redox reaction this we have done and questions will be coming on that how to balance students redox reactions theek hai there are many steps in the previous lectures we have told you half reaction you write half oxidation reaction half reduction reaction and then you first balance half reactions then you cancel the electrons and you will add the two and the electrons are cancelled we get the final redox reaction the number of atoms on left and number of atoms on the right of each element is same charge is same acid medium means h plus basic medium in oh plus so we have to take into that now yes, we are coming to more important point student which is called the activity series what do you mean by activity series students when i say activity series what did it mean there is a series of activity activity of what activity series of metals i am saying what is the <coughs> of that student that means certain metals are more active than others certain metals are more active that is what you are saying certain metals are more active what do you mean by more active what do you mean by more active that you are saying they are more active so we want an activity series in fact in electrochemistry chapter also student you will see there is a no, standard electrode reduction potential values which were calculated We, we we will tell you how they have calculated this uh, in another lecture so they have arranged you see reduction potential values reduction potential values and in that student uh, uh, what we try to say after finding the standard reduction potential values of large number of elements a series was formed and what these values tell us which metal is more reactive in terms of the how much Uh, power it has to give the electrons so those which can give electron more easily they are readily oxidized if someone some metal reactivity of metal means what what the metals do student what do you mean by a metal metal you are saying are those which can give electrons tell me yes or no metals mm -hmm. will re release the electrons so how active it is in giving the electron the more it can give the electron what will happen more it it is we are saying reactive more it is reactive means for example student what i am trying to say we can do a small experiment student small experiment for example student i have a copper sulfate solution yes sir i have a copper sulfate solution student aqueous do you know what is the color of copper sulfate students what is the color of copper sulfate this is blue in color yeah <clears throat> i put students a zinc rod in it what is this is a zinc rod you put a zinc rod over some period of time what you will see you will see that slowly and slowly the blue color disappears yes sir blue color students disappears solution becomes hot yeah solution is becoming hot students and you will see the zinc starts getting consumed the zinc is consumed where the zinc is going hey it is consumed and you will see a layer of layer of copper on the surface of zinc color changes what is happening yes, students what is the story here what is happening i am not doing anything the reaction uh, is happening by itself yes sir and means that you had zinc students the zinc is displacing copper okay you have copper sulfate student this is 2 plus and 2 minus yeah what is happening the zinc is displacing copper so it becomes uh, zinc sulfate 
and uh, students you are getting copper that means students we what it means that means zinc displaces copper ions theek hai from the solution what you are getting this copper you are getting so why will this happen student why will this happen you are saying zinc is more active i am talking of activity series yes sir zinc is more active you are saying yeah. than than copper copper what do you mean by more active that means student zinc has a greater tendency to give the electrons as compared to copper zinc is having more affinity to give the electron if zinc gives the electron student then what is happening zinc is undergoing oxidation <clears throat> this is an yeah. oxidation example of oxidation and you are saying copper ions they are gaining these electrons students who is giving the electron zinc zinc is giving the electron and what happens you get copper what is this reduction you are saying copper has been reduced by zinc you are saying in the activity series zinc is more active than copper so if i do the reverse you have noted down this i am proceeding further i'll proceed further wait sir i'm writing it wait sir i'm writing it okay okay uh this is redox reaction which part activity series i am talking of activity series students okay the topic is activity series you are saying more active metal can okay sir you can uh, proceed can displace less active metal that is the conclusion of this theek hai now students if i do the reverse reaction what is the reverse if i take zinc sulfate solution and i put copper copper here no reaction no reaction see the story yes copper Sorry. is not able to displace zinc from the solution copper is less less reactive than zinc that's what you are saying yes sir after doing experiment students as has been done in the electrochemistry also standard reduction potential values were determined for different elements and what they found there is an activity series which is given in your book students activity series there yes, is an sir. activity series of the metals i am talking of metals here so i am saying activity series of the metals according to this you will find in the book students there is a lithium potassium barium student calcium after calcium you have sodium after sodium you have magnesium students carbon carbon is a non metal but still i am listing it i am listing some non metals also students aluminium zinc iron nickel tin and this is my hydrogen this is my hydrogen h h hydrogen is a non metal but i have highlighted it because you know from acids can we get hydrogen gas or not see that important reaction then you have copper ag and au students yeah so this is the arrangement of the activity series of the metals and few non metals 
and the arrangement shows we are saying decreasing reactivity decreasing reactivity means what students tell me 30 seconds for you what do you mean by reactivity students yeah what is the reactivity, the reactivity of the metal is... means what activity series of metal i am saying it is more reactive and uh... means how easily it is spaces others the metals what the metals do how easily the metals are oxidized to form positive ions what do they form positive ions positive ion students i am saying this is a my metal this is this is my solid it is forming something some positive ions it is forming positive ions that means it is giving electrons how much tendency is there to give this electron the more is a tendency to give the electron what it means that it can give the electron it is undergoing oxidation and then metal is acting as a reducing agent metal is acting as a you know metal act as a reducing agent because they can give the electrons more readily it can give the electrons students more active it is that means here lithium is the most reactive you are saying lithium is on the top that means lithium has a maximum tendency to give the electron that's what you are saying yes sir you are saying and then potassium then so what is show student what is the use of this series those which are above can displace the elements which are lower from their salt solutions is it that is it right i what i am saying elements <clears throat> above can displace okay elements or metals can displace elements yeah. lower than lower theek hai from their supposing salt solutions salt solutions because yeah. they are more active they are more active in other words student you are saying you are saying for example these these element where is that zinc this is my zinc this is my copper so according to this series zinc is more active than copper because zinc is above copper zinc can displace zinc can displace student copper from the salt solution yes or no that is what it means tell me yes sir iron can displace copper iron can displace copper aluminium can displace copper magnesium can displace magnesium can displace iron the above elements can displace the elements which are below them which are below them understood yes sir or in other words students or in other words now if i put it like this you have noted down i will proceed further after you noted down i will proceed further students i'll proceed further students after you have noted down Yes, sir. I'm still writing. You're written. Yeah. Uh, wait. I'm writing. Wait. written sir okay 
therefore students after experiments a activity series has been given in the books so we can say that we can say that metals uh, which are higher higher in activity series metals which are higher in activity in series form positive ions more readily form positive ions more readily more readily are more reactive that's what we are saying are more reactive so they are stronger reducing agents stronger reducing agents right or wrong tell me what is a reducing agent which goes under goes oxidation and gives the electrons so it gives the electron student it gives the electron now the one question was given in the paper question that lithium has high ionization enthalpy but but is most reactive metal and on top of the top of activity series yes <clears throat> why okay you have one minute to answer the question students Okay. <clears throat> What happens when activity series is determined student activity series is determined by calculating student by calculating standard electrode potential values in aqueous ions in aqueous solution in aqueous aqueous means solution mean in the presence of water what happens then the ions are hydrated students hydrated and there is a when ions are hydrated hydration energy is released student what happens is when they are hydrated hydration enthalpy or hydration energy is released released what happens they release energy when they are hydrated and lithium plus has a smaller radius and high therefore high charge density high charge by radius ratio this is known as charge density therefore as high what it has higher hydration enthalpy therefore because of the large energy will be released because of the small ion when it undergoes hydration therefore in aqueous in aqueous solution what happens lithium lithium is the most reactive metal therefore <clears throat> the lithium is the most reactive metal as you can see because of the high hydration enthalpy of the lithium because the size is small charge by radius ratio is very high 
ओके यू कैन नोट डाउन स्टूडेंट्स After you note down, I will proceed further, students. Written, sir. Okay. Therefore, students, what is the use of activity series? Why we are doing activity series? What is the significance of? What is the significance or use of activity series? Why do we need that? because it we can predict the reactions using activity series activity series for example example you have just seen that what you have seen student zinc is more reactive than copper for example zinc is above copper in activity series what will happen what is the result of that student then zinc will displace <clears throat> copper ions from solution what you mean by this zn s copper 2 plus aqueous i am saying they are in solution you will get zn 2 plus zinc will give electron copper will take the electron and copper will be displaced copper is displaced in other words you are saying zinc reduces zinc reduces student copper mm. ions from the solution same thing we can say in many way figure so the higher the metal in the activity series higher more stronger is a reducing agent conclusion what is the conclusion higher the metal higher the metal in activity series Higher the metal in the activity series, stronger, stronger the reducing agent. Stronger the reducing agent. Then lower metals in activity series. Tell me, right or wrong? Tell me, right or wrong? Is it right? Yes, sir. Question. Question answer session continues in our every lecture. Student, question was that you put zinc and zinc in HCl. and you put copper in hcl tell me in which h2 gas will be liberated h2 gas will be liberated okay question you have one minute to answer the question students you have one minute to answer the question students important question was given in the paper student this question was given in the paper how will you answer this question students how will you answer this question zinc plus hcl and then copper
activity series yeah yeah sir what what the activity series shows uh, the time zinc uh, uh, in the first reaction where zn is reacting with uh, hcl double uh, in that reaction h2 will be liberated in the second reaction in the second reaction it will stay the same no reaction no reaction and what is the reason zinc is uh, more reactive zinc than is more reactive than uh, hydrogen copper is less reactive than copper is lower in activity series than hydrogen zinc is above the activity series on the hydrogen than more than hydrogen more than hydrogen very important question you understood what happens say you can go to the chemistry lab and copper in hcl nothing have put zinc immediate bubbles of hydrogen gas comes out ha uh, easily test you can easily test the hydrogen gas you know that it burns with a pop sound so students uh, this is interesting that we can find which is more reactive and which is less reactive similarly if you put magnesium in acid immediate you know metals react with acid to liberate hydrogen gas but if it is lower than if it is lower than hydrogen then what happens nothing if you put gold in hcl what happens what happens if you put gold in hcl if you have silver and hcl student if you have gold and hcl what is happening these are h ions and you know they are lower in series in the activity series where they are located lower or higher in activity series where is gold platinum or silver they are lower than h so what will happen they won't react then hydrogen gas is not liberated h2 gas not released if i add dilute hcl got it so this can be explained on the basis of activity series activity series students so if i put a iron nail i am saying question 2 you put iron nail in copper sulfate aqueous in second you put copper in feso4 solution student tell me what will happen in the two cases what happens <clears throat> in the activity series which is above iron, iron or copper iron is above you first you have iron then you have copper yes sir iron is above the copper then what will happen iron is more reactive iron then? will uh, displace uh, coso4 in a, uh, and then copper in feso4 will have no reaction okay all right correct answer so you are saying this will happen see unless i think student no question can be answered in paper i am very clear that the concept chemistry is to be learned you have to understand it is not to be crammed the students if i will cram then what i will learn nothing so try to learn the basic concepts of chemistry this is very important this reaction takes place but here no reaction question answered any doubt <clears throat> any doubt no sir okay all right now the important point is i am talking of electro chemical cells you are also known as voltaic cell student are you aware that you are using lot of voltaic cells in our everyday life tell me are you using are you using voltaic cells at your home tell me yes or no 
Do you have any example? If can you give me any example of this voltage cell, electrochemical cell? Are you are using so many? Are you using any battery? Tell me. Order. Are you using any battery? Tell me. Yes, sir. You are using cells. Yes, sir. What cells you are using? You know, so many cells you are using. Yes, sir. You are using cells. You are using battery. You are using inverter students. You car the car. You have a battery everywhere. You, your mobile, what mobile? Mobile has a battery. You are charging it. Your laptop. How you are you charging your laptop? Yes or no? So, what is that? The inside them. What is there? There is some cell. There is a battery. How it works, student? What we are trying to say, student? We are talking of. electrochemical cells or voltaic cells students what is happening in voltaic or electrochemical cell electrochemical means there is some some chemical reaction which is taking place and is generating the electricity or in other words what i am saying conversion of chemical energy into into electrical energy yes or no yes sir what do you mean by chemical energy some chemical reactions are taking place what chemical reactions now i'm talking about redox reactions what redox reaction there is oxidation and reduction oxidation means there some electron will be released some electrons will be released student that is oxidation you have just now said okay student that what you did student what you did you mm -hmm. have this is our blue color solution of copper sulfate and you put a rod of zinc in it theek hai what happened you said the two half reactions what are the two half reactions students you find the solution becomes hot The solution becomes hot. Student, warm हो गया? Yes, sir. There is some energy is being released in the reaction. Energy is being released. And can I use this energy or convert this energy into electrical energy, student? Yes, sir. That is the point. Energy is being released. How the energy is released? You said, sir. There are two reactions. Zinc undergoes oxidation. because zinc is more reactive and copper undergoes reduction theek hai and you can see there are electrons are released what is happening electrons are released electrons are released in the reaction student oxidation half reaction and this is the reduction half reaction tell me so there are two reactions which are taking place yes sir in the same in the same container only one i have only one student one container in one solution where these two reactions are taking place theek okay? hai so after some time some coating of copper will take place on the surface of the zinc so the two reactions are taking place in just one at one place at one place but if i separate the two reactions if i separate the two reactions students then what will happen the same reaction will occur instead of electron being transferred from zinc to copper zinc to copper i can transfer it through some external circuit to something else theek hai and then it could become what i call a voltaic cell these electron students which are there what i can do if I, they are being transferred from zinc to copper and if i have an external circuit then what will happen the same reaction occurs so they are they will be transferred then to the external circuit what i am trying to say students what i am going to do now dekho what i will do 
<clears throat> I take student. I am taking in this student. This is my zinc and zinc sulfate. Zinc and zinc sulfate students. And I have another one students. Here what I do? Copper sulfate and <clears throat> कॉपर ठीक है वट इज दिस कॉपर दिस इज कॉल्ड ए हाफ सेल दिस इज कॉल्ड ए हाफ सेल जिंक जिंक सल्फेट कॉपर कॉपर सल्फेट दीज आर द टू हाफ सेल स्टूडेंट दीज आर कॉल्ड इलेक्ट्रोड वट आर जिंक इज एन इलेक्ट्रोड कॉपर दीज आर द इलेक्ट्रोड स्टूडेंट एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड ए हाफ सेल This is another half cell. ठीक है? If I join the two students, then what happens? If I join the two, what will happen? Join the two. What will happen? Zinc will undergo oxidation. Yes, sir. Copper will And undergo reduction. Copper will undergo reduction. So there, zinc will give what? You are just seeing that and releases what? electrons so electrons will start from here and they will move from this external circuit i have a some copper or something wire then what will happen this is my external circuit then they will start flowing like this and inside this is copper ions you have copper ions inside these students here you have zinc ions inside this inside this you have copper ions ठीक है, दिस आर ऑल एक्वस स्टूडेंट्स ठीक है सो वट इज हैपनिंग जिंक इज अंडर गोइंग ऑक्सीडेशन रिलीजिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड दॉपर आय फ्रॉम द सोल्यूशन विल एक्सेप्ट द इलेक्ट्रॉन दे विल गेट कॉपर विल गेट रिड्यूस्ड कॉपर सी यू टू प्लस एक्वस विल गेट द इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड विल गेट रिड्यूस्ड स्टूडेंट्स सो इलेक्ट्रॉन स्टार्ट फ्लोइंग फ्रॉम दियर टू द एक्सटर्नल सर्किट therefore students mm. what happens if the reactions are allowed to go for a longer period of time what will happen the copper will get deposited on this more and more and zinc will start getting consumed zinc will start getting consumed students so the reaction is otherwise exothermic what we do we will when i told you that zinc you put in copper sulfate the solution becomes hot student so here what is happening electrons are flowing so the heat energy is being coming from the chemical the chemical energy student is giving you heat energy otherwise which is now being converted into electrical energy electron flow what it means so converted we have converted the heat of energy now into electrical energy student and this can do useful work for us useful work for us and okay. it can drive student a motor because the electrical electrons have started flowing but you will see the students this reaction will stop after some period of time so what they do is they have to attach what they call as students we have to put here a salt bridge student to complete the reaction so that it can continue i am putting a salt bridge student this is called a salt bridge there is a salt bridge you will see i have attached with it so the reaction will continue or the reaction will stop immediately after some period of time this salt bridge contains a substance called agar 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 jelly and contains potassium chloride or some electrolyte student the purpose of the salt bridge is to maintain electro neutrality towards the two half cells two half cells so what we are doing here there is a salt bridge student to maintain electro neutrality 
into half cells otherwise reaction will stop two half cells and it also completes the circuit students and this is the basis of our this is the basis of student what we call as this is the basis this is the basis of our voltaic cell or what i told you about the galvanic cell because <clears throat> what is happening student if this is not present there will be excess of zinc as it zinc is undergoing oxidation you can see in this reaction this is called anode where oxidation takes place anode anode you know that what we use anode and cathode student where oxidation takes place and cathode is where reduction takes place the result is student if this process takes place there will be excess of zn2 plus ions in this solution and what will happen this positive charge if there is excess of this the reaction will stop because this will not allow the release of the electrons similarly what will happen here here copper is being consumed student copper is being consumed so there will be decrease in concentration of copper ions and there will be there will be net here there is a increase of positive charge <clears throat> here and here copper plus 2 will be consumed and there will be increase of negative charge where in this cell half cell these are two half cells and the result will be the the electron flow will stop what the salt bridge does the salt bridge has got agar agar jelly and an electrolyte like kcl so it neutralizes the excess charges on both the sides so there are excess ions in individual half cells they are neutralized by the flow of opposite ions from the salt bridge in the two sides therefore salt bridge provides electrical connection between two half cells to complete the circuit it allows ions to flow into or out of the half cells to balance out the charges in the two half cells so what i am saying student very important point question is what is the function of salt bridge this question has been asked in the paper student if salt bridge is not there what is the happening reaction will stop so it is doing two important things it is provides electrical connection is a it provides it provides student electrical theek hai it provides what it provide electrical connection <clears throat> between two half cells to complete the circuit yes second it what happens it neutralizes excess excess charges in two half cells two half cells therefore the reaction continues to continue the redox to continue the flow of electrons theek hai from anode towards the cathode otherwise the reaction will stop theek hai students got it so we are saying negative charge is always flowing in the same continuous direction around a complete circuit around a complete circuit students in this case what do you have electrons electrons are negatively charged theek hai 
नेगेटिव चार्ज विच आर फ्लोइंग फ्रॉम वेयर दे आर फ्लोइंग फ्रॉम फ्रॉम एनोड वेट इज एनोड जिंक अंडर गोइंग ऑक्सीडेशन जिंक इज अ सोर्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन टेल मी so zinc here is giving the electron students so that is anode oxidation is taking place the negative electrons from the anode from the anode go to the external circuit external circuit they are going students theek hai yes sir so therefore electrons are coming from where from the zinc therefore this is considered as a negative electron here what they are giving negative electron this is my negative electron in this case negative sign i am giving to it because electrons are flowing from zinc so uh, wherefore we say that anode is that electrode where where oxidation occurs so what is anode that is the electrode student yes sir where oxidation occurs always oxidation occurs because electrons are released in the zinc electrode therefore it is given a negative electrode and what happens to the copper student copper is undergoing reduction student theek hai yes sir and this is where what is happening this is this is a where reduction takes place this is this is called cathode this is called cathode cathode is that electrode where reduction takes place cathode is electrode where reduction takes place theek hai reduction occurs and then in in this in this student in voltaic cell i am saying this is a voltaic cell in voltaic cell anode is a negative plate and cathode it will be then positive plate is given positive electrode in the voltaic cell in the voltaic cell student you have in what we are talking is voltaic cell theek okay? hai so copper electrode is the cathode and electrons are flowing through the external circuit towards the electrode and used up this during the positive process so what we have told you student basically in this case what you have seen that there are two half cells theek okay? hai which one this is my zinc zn this is your copper and this is a copper sulfate solution what do you yeah. have copper ions that yes, is you have zinc ions and the you have a salt bridge student in order to complete the circuit student this is a salt bridge theek hai yes sir salt bridge this is my salt bridge and the result is student the electrons are flowing like this so we are saying this is a negative this is positive here electrons are moving in this way from zinc from anode to the cathode this is my an anode student this is my cathode these are two half cells the direction of the flow of current is taken opposite to the direction of the electron by convention in physics you will see that we are saying current is flowing in a direction opposite to the flow of the electron students so this is what is our volt voltaic cell also called voltaic cell student what we call this as galvanic cell also this is a source of electrical energy in this chemical energy has been converted into electrical energy 
and in voltaic cell in voltaic cell you are saying anode is the anode is negative electrode and cathode is positive electrode okay yes sir and it means we have converted chemical energy into electrical energy actually the first cell which was made was by daniel daniel cell you know then it was a galvanic cell and now these are all improved versions of the what we are using various cells where the chemical reaction take place and electrical energy is produced we have different type of cell pencil cells small cells uh, in electronic devices you are also using different type of cells in car batteries inverters everywhere you are using uh, to drive your motors to your mixers your machines all this so any doubt no sir okay then students good night i will meet you in my next lecture bye bye and we will see you in the next bye bye sir thank you